Freedom Joy and welcome to my studio. We're going to be learning some individual wax designs and if you're not familiar with the wax technique come on over and check out this link and it'll teach you all the basics you need to know. We're going to work on a daisy and I'm going to start by making kind of an oval shape for the center of my flower and you can make that smaller. It's probably a little bit bigger than what I want so I'm going to go a little bit smaller. Kind of make it right about there. And I'm going to be using the large end of my number two tool, which is the largest one, because we want these to be really fat on the outside of our flower petals. So we're going to start with our first one coming right down the middle. Now, I did drip. You do get a little bit more wax with this tool, so be a little bit more careful with it. Now the second one I'm starting to go out to the side and curve it to the right a little bit more and I'm going to do keep going that same direction curving that bringing that around so now I'm going to go and do the other side when you're working with a bigger tool, you may get it to drip a little bit more. Take it around your project, not across your project. So if it drips, it doesn't drip on something you've already done. And you can go down a tool size as well. Now see how we're curving these to the left now. And we're just going to kind of continue to Go get those curved in. We're going to join them up in the middle. So one more there. And got a couple more to fill in. So in this middle one, you can curve it a little bit or you can make it more straight. That doesn't matter. Now, it's also nice if like these are shorter on the sides and the, the ones on these sides are longer too. You also could do more of a complete circle and have a more even looking so that you're looking at it head on. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do the daisy. So we're going to go ahead and put his dots in the center and we're going to do descending dots and when you're doing descending dots I'm going to start them on the outside of the petals just a little bit up in them but don't let your dots touch you don't want your dots to touch until they start to dry otherwise the wax all runs together like that and you don't get individual dots so that's the reason that we do that and you could do these all yellow, you could do yellow and brown, you can do them however you want to do them. So those have dried well enough, so I'm going to just do the second color, brown, and we're going to add some dots in here. I didn't let my tool get warm. And we're just going to complete that. And you also could put orange in here, you could put gold in here, whatever other colors, or just do just yellow. I think I'd, I don't quite like the brown in there as much. So I'm going to kind of cover that up a little bit more, just so we have just a little bit of brown showing, because I like the, the yellow better. But you can see, by letting them dry in between, that we're getting more of a dot shape. And that is how we do our daisy. And I would probably do long stem with our wax liner and maybe a leaf, a big leaf off to the side, but that is what I would do with that one. I hope you enjoyed our little video for you today. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we ask that you hit the share button and share it on Facebook or other media. And for any of our products, please visit MiriamJoy.com. And thank you and God bless.